second last go, this is go. Welcome to Go. You're watching Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are here today at Elk Falls Provincial Park. We are starting here because this is the second last Go show. And over the last four years and five months, this is the one location where we were the most. And it was because of the amazing project headed by the Campbell River Rotary Club, the Elk Falls Suspension Bridge. We are going to catch up with Lori Buza later in the show to chat about and reminisce a little bit about that project. It was so much fun to be involved in that. And also we're going to head down to Cumberland and chat with Anna Rambo at the Cumberland Museum. And she's actually going to stand in and do an interview for me because I don't have Gord today. Gord is missing. Well, he's not missing. He's sick. So he's not here. So I'm doing the whole thing by myself. So I'm running the camera and I'm doing the hosting and I'm doing the interviewing, except in that instance, Anna's gonna stand in and do the interview for me. So she's gonna be the guest host and there's gonna be a lot of those coming up in the new shows, which we'll talk about next week. Right now, we're gonna start right here in Campbell River. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Joining me now, Mr. Lori Buza. He represents the Campbell River Rotary Club, and you guys are responsible for the Elk Falls Suspension Bridge. And I was explaining earlier in my opening that this is one of our favorite places to come, mostly because we got to follow that project right from day one. What was your favorite part of working with us over the last four years? Just the enthusiasm, excitement um, that you showed. <laughs> as well as the public. Yeah. Uh, everybody was really anticipating the opening and uh, you could tell once it opened it was just parking lot was full and it's heartwarming to see that many people that excited. <laughs> you know it was um, I think one of the high points for me was trying to get down the hill with no stairs built yet. Remember when we had to... And it was and, a nice hike up. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice hike up. And having to, you know, having to, and go down in the mud. That's what I remember is the mud. There was and, so much mud. And we didn't have to work in there. <laughs> yes. But it was very uh, interesting to see how that, all those structures were created from nothing. You know, you mm -hmm. dig down the, the, through the dirt to the bedrock and, and all that uh, process was very interesting to see how it came about. 22 feet for those anchors. <laughs> which huh? is incredible to that see is. a four inch hole drilled just like butter into solid bedrock. Yeah. Very impressive. You know, I think one of the other high points for me was when I got to walk out across the bridge and it wasn't done yet. No side rails. <laughs> no side rails. <laughs> and no just, <laughs> um, and Halfway across is where they had the deck and we went to the edge of the deck and we're looking down. You watched us doing that Why? Yes. and I wanted you to come out with us. You didn't want to. No. <laughs> it was more fun to watch. But it, uh, it was, uh, it's interesting to see that, that uh, you know, rock harness and all the safety that they did as well. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, but it was more exciting to walk across the bridge when it was completed, but it still had no safety fence. Right. So that was, that was good. But what you did, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about this tree. What is this? This is a... Um, we call it a donation tree uh, to help Rotary Club support the maintenance on the bridge because okay. it, the bridge is free as well as the viewing platform uh, and it's by uh, our request and, and our funders as well mm -hmm. that it's a Rotary project so it's to remain free for use right. and a lot of people are shocked at how that it is free. Mm -hmm. Other suspension bridges. It's amazing. Shocked. It's really amazing. So if the people want to donate to help for the maintenance, uh, it's very much appreciated. Because the maintenance would be all of the fencing that you've had to put for some of the trails and all the trails themselves. The trails are only a 5% grade, right? Like or, yeah, average or less. Average, yeah. yeah. So to make it accessible. Right, yeah. And the new parking lot that is just behind the camera. 
Yeah, awesome. And and the structure itself, uh, the bridge needs to be inspected for safety. Any of course any loose things or uh, the cables got to be inspected probably five years from now. Yeah. But that kind of thing is is uh, extra cost to the park. Okay. So that's what we're funding. All right. As well as possible improvements. <laughs> as w- <laughs> Yes, and what might those improvements be? Well, we're looking at something off of the north platform. Because okay. the original design was the bridge has to go somewhere, not just in. <laughs> the bridge to nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're looking at uh, a proposal to put to parks about going across and along up the canyon and come back across Deer Falls oh, okay. to hook into the old growth. Because a lot of people miss that, and that's yeah. one of the nicest features of the park Awesome is, is the old growth. Fabulous. All right. Well, Lori, thank you so much. And keep us surprised of the new, well, Go is coming to an end. We do have new shows that are starting and we will find a place for you on one of the new shows, I'm sure. Look forward to it because it's very enjoyable to see. (laughs) Yeah. All right. We are going to head down to the Comox Valley for this feature. Have a look. So today we have a special guest host slash interviewer in Anna Rambo. Have a look. This is Go. We're on location in Cumberland. My name is Anna Rambo and I'm talking today with Marianne Bell. And Marianne's going to tell us a little bit about Heritage Day in Cumberland. Yes. Hi, Anna. Thanks. Thanks. Heritage Day in Cumberland is February the 18th. There's going to be activities at the CRI Hall from 10 to 4 by donation. There will be a concession demonstrations and activities um yeah uh, i think great that's what's happening so what there. can visitors and expect to see at the heritage fair they can expect to see uh booths and tables from different organizations throughout the valley so okay, that great. everyone can participate it's for everyone fantastic um, and uh, all about our heritage great and that's by donation by donation okay great yep and then i hear there's also the heritage or the lantern festival yeah. that evening yeah the Lantern Festival is happening. There's a going to be a labyrinth in the cultural center, which is right behind us upstairs yep. from 10 to 4. It's free for anyone that wants to come through. And later in the evening, there's going to be a lantern parade from Village Square to Village Park and the release of the Sky Lanterns. Great. That's course, always popular. Everything weather permitting, of course. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And so if people are interested in finding out more, where can they go to? Is there a website? Yep. There's a website. You can go to the cumberlandmuseum.ca. Perfect. Thank you very much, Marianne. And now we go back to Mary Ruth. Thanks very much, Anna. That was great. And I'll be there to chat with you very, very shortly about your role in the Heritage Fair and everything Cumberland Museum. Right now, we're going to head down to the valley for this story from Franco Noviello. You're watching Go on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm here with Anna Rambo here at the Cumberland Museum. Now, Heritage Fair is coming up. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing that day? Yeah, so the Heritage Day lands on Saturday, February 18th. And as a part of that, the museum, the Cumberland Museum and Archives, is going to be open by donation um, from 10 till 5. So all are welcome to come to the museum. And between 11 and 1, we're going to be doing a Chinese New Year craft. Okay. Yeah. Neat. Now, um, earlier we heard from Marianne Bell, who was telling us about the Lantern Festival and all of the events over at the CRI. Mm -hmm. Um, Is there also a parade? That's right. Yeah, there is a, yeah, there's going to be a Lantern Parade. Um, So uh, people are going to gather at around six o'clock dusk um, in the Cumberland Village Square. Um, And so come on down with a lantern and you can join the parade. And from there, they'll procession down to the park, Cumberland Park. Well, there'll be the Sky Lantern liftoffs and some fire dancers and a celebration of light. You said fire dancers? I believe that there's going to be some fire oh. dancing down there. I, yeah, I'm that pretty sure kind of that's exciting. happening. Yeah, yeah, it should be really nice. It would nice. be so much fun for the kids to Definitely. see. Definitely, yeah. Now, um, I know it's a long ways away, but what does the spring fair look like for you guys? Like just the offerings that you guys will have through March, April and May? Oh my goodness. Well, it's it's a busy time at the museum. We're working on a few new exhibits, which you'll hear about in the coming months. Um, We also have our May 1st Bean Supper, which is an ongoing tradition. Mm -hmm. Um, And then our Miners Memorial Weekend in June. Okay. Yeah, so lots coming up and you can always find information on our website, uh, cumberlandmuseum.ca. 
Now, if there was um, school groups that wanted to come through, mm -hmm. whether or not they live in Cumberland or not, mm -hmm. there's still a huge amount of history oh, to be found here. So are school groups able to contact you for tours? For sure, yeah. We do school tours, and so that information is on our website. We also have a great outreach kit on Cumberland Chinatown, um, which te teachers book out for their classrooms. That's a really wonderful resource. It has artifacts and lesson plans and sort of hands-on activities um, that all come as a part of the kit. And what about seniors groups, like say the Berwick um, in Comox, like they yeah. do day trips? Do yeah, know? definitely. Yeah, we accommodate all ages with our tours. Um, and then we also have some guides that can go out to places as well and give some talks on, on the history of Cumberland. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. Well, have fun on Heritage Day, and thanks for all the other information. Yeah, and I'm sure so we'll be talking to you soon. So. Okay. <laughs> Um, and now we're going to head to Campbell River for cu Council Currents. Have a look. Thank you for watching Go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you along with us for the last four years and five months in all of the multitude of locations that we have covered. Everything from here at Elk Falls Suspension Bridge to downtown Campbell River to Black Creek to Courtney to Cumberland to Bowser over to Lund and Powell River and Willingdon Beach, one of my favorite places. Catching up with Prisma and of course Cathalmu and it has just been a wonderful journey over the last four years and five months. Thank you to Laura Buza, Lori Buza, for joining us earlier to reminisce about the build of the Elk Falls Suspension Bridge. And thank you to Anna Rambo at the Cumberland Museum for standing in and doing that interview. And thank you to all of you for watching and being so loyal over the last nearly four and a half years. We have some wonderful new shows starting. Uh, middle of February, and you're going to hear about all of them next week right here on Go, which will be the very final Go show. So until then, have a great week, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>